Hey, what's up everybody? Video 44 coming at you with another video. All right, so it's halftime. Lakers are up 55-53 in Phoenix. And yes, we're up against this team in this situation. Um, had a little bit of a scare there with Anthony Davis. He had a little bit of a wrist uh, type of thing or elbow type of thing. I wasn't really certain what happened, but he ended up playing through it. Shot the free throws, so hopefully he'll go into the halftime. A locker room and everything will be 100% and he'll get back out there. But it was a situation where we thought it was a real thing, so... Yeah, glad glad it wasn't what we thought. But as we move forward, uh, looking at this game, we're very pleased. You know, at the end of the day, uh, the Suns did get out to a very big lead, but it wasn't anything that was sustainable, to be completely honest with you. Uh, we said Mikael Bridges has had some three-point efficiency issues, but to not leave him bump from behind the arc because he could hit the shot, well, he's hitting the heck out of the shot. Now he's shooting like he's Clay Thompson on his best day. Four out of five three-point shots there. <clears throat> Some of them will fall away threes. He was he thought he was Kobe or something. I don't know. But as I'm sitting there seeing him shoot these shots, I'm looking at him like, you know you ain't going to be able to keep shooting like this, right? So it's one of those situations where you, you, as you see them doing this and then you look at the box score and you realize that's literally the only thing happening for them. I mean, you got Damian Lee. He hit a couple threes. And then you had Devin Booker who's able to, you know, occasionally get shots over some guys who were shorter. And as the game was progressing, um, they kind of got away from Devin Booker. So it was one of those situations where it's like, okay, Aiton's not really making his presence felt. That's one of the things the announcers were complaining about throughout the first half, that he wasn't really killing it. So expect him to come out and play better in the second half. But aside from that, and it, I mean, it, it's just Mikael Bridges shooting the ball at a high-efficiency clip well outside of what he's going to be doing uh, any other time in, in ever, basically. If he's going to be shooting like this, then we just got to hand him the win and just go home. You know what I mean? I mean, come on. Four out of five threes in like one quarter, he ain't shooting like that. So all we got to do is tighten up our three-point efficiency um, and then and, and then focus on our three-point discipline as well. We're 2 of 10 right now, kind of taking some steps, steps back in the last two games after having some really good stretch runs where we were shooting a good percentage in, in, in hitting them, um, uh, shooting them and, and hitting them. So that's what we want to do, get back to that. I think we shot like 35% of the last game. We're 20 right now. So that's not where we want to be. Uh, we can do better. Austin Reeves, nine points, continuing the momentum of this last game. We love what we're seeing there. Uh, Patrick Beverly, it, it's a struggle, but he's doing some good things defensively. You can definitely see where he's helping us. Uh, Walker's being excellent as usual. We love what we're seeing from him. Anthony Davis, 14 points, 10 rebounds. He's continuing to play well, and against these bigs, it's really impressive. You know, we're continuing to put an emphasis on the boards, which is what I'm pleased with. We're winning the rebounding total thus far, 28, I think, to 26. So, the fact that they're on pace to get 60 boards again or close to 60 boards again and we're still pacing them is extremely impressive. They got the message. I, I wanted everybody to understand. I put it on every form I spoke on. Rebounding is the name of the game against Phoenix because it's one of those things where if you're not paying attention to them, you ain't really thinking about it. But they have guys that are on this floor right now that are definitely looking to rebound the ball. And it's coming uh, from our side of the, of the ball as well. Our guys are, are taking it to them. Austin Reeves, Thomas Bryant came in and was highly efficient, scoring very impressive out there, hitting mid-range jump shots, layups, and things of that nature. I was extremely impressed with him. And, um, you know, it's just been great, man. This is one of the more anticipated games for me as a fan, looking at how we're going. This is a measuring stick, as I said, for how well we're playing. And so far, so good. Um, you know, we understand this team can, can class us in some areas, but we also know that they have a bunch of role players that we can attack, just like the last couple of teams we've seen. And that's what we're doing. We're taking it to them. And, and, and they're not as disciplined as us, it seems. They're, they're, they're shooting better, but from possession to possession to possession, we're just running better stuff. I love the pace that we're playing with. Russell Westbrook's playing pretty well, but I want him to stop looking off AD. I've been noticing him and AD have had some uh, chemistry issues. I don't know if it stems from last year, maybe something happened, whatever, but they don't really be vibing, and sometimes it bleeds onto the court. And I, I just want them to get their continuity get, together. It doesn't have to be a trust issue thing. You know, let's just do play as one. That's, that's the only way we're going to win. So I haven't heard anybody mention it, but I've seen it for a couple games, and I don't think I've mentioned it either. So they got to get their chemistry right and, and stop playing off one another in, in ways that say, you better prove it or I'm not giving you the ball type crap. That's childish. Stop it. So anyway. Enough of that. Winyan Gabriel, I want to see him continue to play better. He's, he's on a slump for his standards. Even though he did some good things, he airballed a three-point shot. The Kranz fans went crazy. He's a, he's a confidence guy. If he's, if he's doing things that keeps his confidence up, he's a help. If he does things that keeps his confidence down, 
um, he, he's, he's going to be thinking about those mistakes. So I just want him to get out of his head, get back out there, doing the things that help him. And, uh, you know what I mean, stand, stand tall because we need our bigs tonight. Uh, you know, campaign's not being very efficient, uh, so we got to watch for him to see if he's going to continue that in the second half. But that's really what it is. We're doing a good job defensively in most of these areas, even though Devin Booker was hitting shots. I thought we were playing well off of him in the times he was hitting those shots. So we just got to continue to do things that work um, and continue to feed Anthony Davis. Obviously, our issue has been in the past, can we get Anthony Davis the ball in the second half? Can we come out in the third quarter and keep the, keep the momentum necessary to win the game? This is that measuring stick, so we cannot revert. Definitely make sure Anthony Davis is getting the ball healthy in the second half. Definitely make sure that we're intent on continuing to give Walker the ball and slashing. Got to keep Russell Westbrook involved. I like how he was shooting the ball in the first half. Um, he's going to have to continue to pick and, and choose good shots like he's been doing. And we got to keep our turnovers down. So these are the things I'm looking at, man. Crashing the glass is working, so hopefully we continue to keep that mentality. Everybody's doing a good job on that. And I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleased with what we're seeing, though, for us to have a two-point lead on this team after having a big deficit and, and some of their best players are shooting the ball very well we're still up you know what can i say this is exactly what you want to see from the lakers let's get back to the game i have something for you at the end of it pdf 44 i thank you all for watching